Certain meats, undercooked meats, um, have an increased risk of parasite. Um, some cheeses made from unpasteurized milk, um, usually the soft cheeses like a brie or a, a, a blue vein cheese, have a higher risk of um, getting something called listeriosis, which is a bacterial infection that can harm the pregnancy. Um, but usually pasteurized um, cheeses and hard cheeses, the, the, those are usually not associated with listeria. There is some concern uh, raised by the USDA and the CDC that some fish contains high levels of mercury and that mercury may be uh, uh, deleterious on a developing embryo. Interestingly, there's not um, a significant amount of human data to correlate mercury levels with birth defects. So we don't know how true this, this um, um, if there is a cause and effect there. But having said that, the CDC recommends that you avoid certain fish, swordfish, tilefish, uh, king mackerel. Those are some of the ones that they uh, tell you to avoid. Other fish, like tuna, um, which you frequently find in sushi, or salmon, have lower levels of mercury, and you need to watch your, your consumption of those. You don't need to completely avoid them, but you need to watch your consumption. And the FDA website actually has guidelines. There are certain types of tuna that you should only eat once a week, certain types of, of salmon you should only eat once a week. Um, they give you specific guidelines. Um, and sushi really falls into that category. If, you, if your total sushi consumption or the total fish part of the sushi consumption falls within those guidelines, then I think it's safe. You know, you need to keep in mind that um, it, you, it should be from a purveyor that's, that's good at looking at fish and identifying fish that, that is, you know, spoiled or bad. You know, obviously that goes without saying. From the standpoint of mercury, as long as you stay within those FDA guidelines, you should be fine.